We've seen it only in concept drawings, but today we get to see everything for the first time in real life. It's a big day. It's a big day, Brian. Why is it a big day? <laughs> you gonna tell them why it's Yes, because we're at Audi's design studio in Ingolstadt and we finally get to see uh, the car that I get to do Electricana in that Audi is building for us in the flesh the first time ever. We've seen it only in concept drawings and some photos, but today we get to see everything for the first time in real life. So without further ado, yes one, Hunatron. So realize like six or seven months ago is when this process started, which is an amazingly short period of time to build an entire car. And Ken and I said, well, why don't we just electrify like an old S1? You know, that's the reason Ken got into rally. And they said, we can do you one better. And that was basically modernizing the concept of an S1. And they even gave it a pretty cool name. The Audi S1 e-tron quattro Hunatron. Or just a S1 Hunatron to its friends. <laughs> For Audi to build an entire prototype car using all the most modern technologies straight off the things that they're doing in their amazing street cars, but doing it at even higher level for a race car performance vehicle, naming it and doing it in this incredible way, I, I'm dumbfounded. It's I mean, amazing. think about it. They built you a concept car. <laughs> I mean, I, just a concept car just for you yeah. to drive an yeah. electric on it. No yeah. pressure or anything. Yeah, all designed in this amazing studio. We've built all the cars yep. for ourselves in the Gymkhanas in the past, either ourselves or through a race team like yep. M Sport. Never has the factory itself, the OEM, built the Gymkhana cars for us to be able to go out and, and do our projects. Level. Like, we've always used an existing body. This yeah. is like an entirely new body, chassis. Everything on the car is new. Maybe it'll be production at some point, but for now, it is just 100% pure prototype for us to go make an incredible video showcasing Audi's electric vehicle technology. All right, well now that you've seen the car, we are actually going to hear from these guys how this thing came about from this. So the, the S1 Pikes Peak is, is in general an inspiration for us. You know, this is it's a very important part in the gene in, in our DNA. And especially this one inspired us for, for your Unitron because, you know, the architecture, you know, these this strong muscles on top of all four wheels, this really tight cabin which creates a unique character in combination with a super short wheelbase and then this upright A-pose and this super unique triangle uh, C-pose. This, this, this makes a very strong character. Inspiration as well for the one over there, that the wing, the surface is connected, you know? Mm -hmm. It's one surface, the fender and the wing. We are always looking forward and it was very important to do not a retro design, more a very progressive interpretation of, of this thing here. And I think we, yeah, we achieved it. With Audi and the Quattro in the 80s, you wanted the wheels, all four wheels, to protrude and stand out from the car. And that created this silhouette where it's still the standard width here, exactly. but it is wider here because you needed the stance for racing. That design stance actually worked out to be something in your favor to, to really visually say all-wheel drive. 
I've looked at this car many times on film and in photos, but never realized just how, how big, big that is. is. Yeah. Well, also, and how big the wing is, too. All right, well, now show us how it translated. <laughs> <laughs> I think the side view is so characterful, and of course, the Apo's not that upright anymore. It's no. a little bit more fluid because it's a very modern car at, yeah. at the end. But there's still this strong direction. We have this chop off rear wing, very pronounced, falling backwards, and then this front wing going against it. And this is very characterful, and this is, I think, a good translation uh, from the old car. Next to the original AS1 Pikes Peak, it looks completely different. Yeah. But the character, it's linked. It's still a very short wheelbase, but it's a little bit longer because of the battery pack. Um, it's a little bit wider than the S1, and it's a lot lower. They do look very different, but when you get into each piece, you're like, oh yeah, box flare, yeah. inset door, roof, wing, like they all have just, it's a modernized version of each piece. How long did it take to get to this? From the first sketch to the design freeze model, around a year. But this time, mm. yeah, four we weeks. Had, we had four weeks. <laughs> Sorry. But, <laughs> oh, <wait>. Sorry. <laughs> but this is so special. So almost every designer wanted to contribute and we had a huge amount of sketches on the wall and we picked one which was from Sascha uh, out of the x design team. He, he did this, um, uh, the, the final design. A very good combination out of the past and the future. And I think, yeah, that's all in now. And it shows our passion. So we used it also to make it um, floating here, this whole piece, to visualize that there is no, no, no uh, combustion engine anymore mm -hmm. under, you know, to, to really make a modern interpretation. Well, as a, as a designer, you can have a lot more fun because you don't have to worry about a certain particular size hole to get air through. Exactly. That you can be way more creative with yeah. the lights, with how the air flows yeah. through. And I thought that you guys did a great job with that. And like you can see, on that image there, that all come together with a very unique design. Yeah. And by the way, it's very cool seeing actually Hunatron <laughs> spelled out right there. there. <laughs> yeah. First we have the daytime running light, which is uh, um, linked to our RS models. This is all this uh, checkered flag and it's also linked to the um, Paris Dakar as well. So there's a kind of a family design. And then, especially for you, the main light modules are hidden here in the shadow. Mm. And this will be very cool for the movie, of course. Yeah. It also has a good rally homage. Yes, yeah, like exactly. Yeah. Dead rally center rally on the hood. Yeah. That's yeah. Exactly, that's the second point. Yeah. And those are like laser lights too, yeah. right? Yeah. New tech. Yeah. I would say the rear end, it's, it's all about the spoiler because <laughs> that's a topic for the rear end. <laughs> and it's underlined by the livery, you know? Gray car yeah. and the spoiler and the rocker and the front spoiler are in, in contrast in neon red. So when this came together, it started as a sketch, and then it gets rendered, and then it became, was it a small model first, and then no, it was cut. Awesome. So you went straight to this. Sketch, see, uh, we choose one, this yep. one proposal from Zascher. We went straight to CAD data. Mm -hmm. We mill it, that's it. We did wow. one round refinement, and that's it. That's so was it cut process, right here with exactly. these? Well, very rarely do you get to build something and then see it in motion in the same year. Exactly, yeah. All right, so this is Sasha, and he worked on final design for this. So he's gonna walk us through all the little details. So we got all the big picture stuff. I mean, basically, I can say just the proportion itself is the first thing which is important. It's just a short wheelbase, super compact, and the whole volume is just already reminding the old S1, actually. In its Y0, if you see like the, the, the silhouette, for instance, for sure it's lower. It's also like kind of more compact probably, but it, it's actually speaking as one. Imagine this is a complete volume and we just try to chop off this front yeah, and you just fill it with a new face. That makes it kind of much more modern and it's actually jumping into the next stage. This typical spoiler style that's very iconic for the S1. We try to catch it up in the silhouette so it's very uh, expressive. Yeah, we kept this ankle which is actually leading to the front spoiler 
it's coming from this uh, headline, headlight theme, uh, including this whole ankled front, which is then through float. So it's all like parts and, and really yeah, important features actually we wanted to keep and, and uh, reinterpret it uh, for the new car. The roof is kind of very new. I like this interpretation of this classical window graphic from the S1. But still we have this kind of a angled pillar, but it's kind of a f yeah, flying roof. So mm -hmm. it's not kind of a typical um, uh, cant rail. Together with this uh, nice NACA air intake, which leads uh, in, inside and uh, for the air cooling, four quattro fenders is important. That's uh, what makes the car. And for sure front spoiler and uh, side rocker to the rear spoiler, that's making the car like from far away just recognizable. A certain key features from the S1, yeah. we try to put together and make a nice kind of modern uh, thing out of it. The modernization of it, like these elements, how that all came together, along with keeping like the really dramatic like door sill and, and f fender flare, but molding this stuff really into the body. Whereas that is more bolted on, this is more designed. Actually, overall, it's, 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 I'm, yeah, it's, it's an S1 interpretation and it speaks itself. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it's very dramatic and it's incredible design, so thank you. Yeah, welcome. I love the work that you've done and you've shown us over there. Like, Thank you so much. Uh, obviously, seeing that design come to life, though, with the livery is something that we're very accustomed to doing. Yeah. And, uh, and seeing, like, the evolution of what... I mean, this is kind of an evolved thing from the Dakar project, correct? Yes, it's like a bridge between the Dakar project and, of course, the classic car as well. It connects key elements of both liveries, actually. So when we put this together, together with the uh, designer who did the exterior, Sasha, yeah. we try to kind of check all boxes here. Okay. We can see that uh, it's sitting on this neon red rocker element, which uh, for us uh, symbolizes the e-tron technology, because this is where the battery sits and this is where the heart of an electric car is pounding. We kind of start with the classic S1, and we have the spoiler, theme that's uh, moving into the rocker, that's connecting both elements. But in our case, we still carried on to the front, uh, to the front spoiler and all the way back. So we have like a 360 wrap around the entire car. The graphics are diving through the parts, then into other parts, and on the other side they're exiting again and they're flowing like 360 over, under, through. It's always cool also to be able to play with uh, key logos like this and to really make sure that we show the 3D of the car and kind of um, color outside of the lines at some points. I really have to give a shout out to Heide, Sasha Heide, who uh, did the exterior. I really had to ask him like where his key parts are mm -hmm. and what key characteristics he wants to maintain so you're the and right to boost. Part. Yes, exactly. Yeah. And like really trying to make sure that we add something yeah. onto the character instead of kind of diluting and, it. And that's such an important part with livery design. You see sometimes where people just throw the craziest stuff at cars and it hides the design of the car. You lose yeah, the shape. Yeah, that's the problem. You lose like those certain angles. It's yeah. like you have to work with all that and exactly. bring attention to it. Right? Yeah, clear enough. Mm -hmm. The strength of the wheel arches and how narrow the car is here and even the, the four rings tucking into the mm -hmm. underbody kind of highlights even how much more this sticks out. Yeah, the Delta. So, yeah. yeah, I like that element of just how all this stuff works together. The red going all the way around, but then how this is not the same as this. So you see a depth in yeah. this, and this logo sort of bleeding into uh, the other part of the body kind of accentuates that other part of the body. Nice job. But thank you so much. Appreciate it. If you ever need work, just you hit me up. Oh, let me know. Some Let me know. <laughs> yeah, these guys are kind of killing it. Yeah, I mean, we're in the design studio. And speaking of the design studio, we're actually done here. That is everything that went into this incredible project. Thank you to Audi and everyone here in the design center. 
Uh, and everyone putting this whole thing together. The next step for me is actually getting to drive this thing. Yes, that's happening soon. For now, we get to go upstairs and see the future, see all the design stuff that Audi's working on for the next three or four years. So top secret stuff. I'm pretty stoked to have that sort of access. I'm really stoked to be with him so I can go finally <laughs> see all this stuff. But unfortunately, we can't bring you with us.